drive my competitor's hauler here home. So uh, I pretty much had to put my car in this trailer so I could get their stuff home. So that's kind of how that works, you know, because we're neighbors back home too. So I'm gonna drive their stuff home because they're going to Portland in the morning, so. So you want to know how low budget this is already? Yeah. I had to turn on the mic, like in the middle of that, but <laughs> here's what we missed. That's his wife's BMW in that car. This is Ryan Foster driving number 41. Very unfortunate race for you. Let's talk about what happened. Uh, well, you know, I mean, got crashed in Madeira and, uh, you know, they don't do anything and then uh, pretty much got wasted here and the official, you know, I'm more mad about the officials not being able to at least, uh, you know, take care of it, at least put them, don't give them the spot back. They, I was told that they didn't see it. So uh, basically it just didn't drive me very clean, you know, and he pretty much wasted me, so. Yeah, and it, from what it looked like, and I'm sure you could back this up, it's not so much a case where you got clipped. It looks more like you got driven through. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, pretty much drove in through, wasted, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it broke the trailing arm off of it. He hit me so hard. So, Damn. you know, I mean, it, and it, you know, it's a bad deal. It sucks. You know, I hate it for my guys and everything else. So it's it's just not good. I don't know if we'll be back because it's hard to make it to these races anyways. Even though I drive a BMW, the thing ain't paid for. <laughs> don't let it fool you now. But yeah, Ryan, good to see your spirits up. And, you know, the bright side of that race was you were having a great run. Yeah, we were having a great run. We just now figured that car out, and, uh, you know, at Roseville, we were doing real good, leading and got a flat tire, and then we kind of lost the car a little bit, you know, in the last couple of races, and then we took it down to Junior Joiner, and he uh, he figured it out, figured out some issues that we had, and the thing was just, I mean, thanks to thanks to Jason, the crew chief, he was, the thing was badass. And you, uh, someone mentioned, uh, I think it was that Brutus guy with the crutches. As you can see, he's a little disabled, kind of like your car right now. Yeah. But yeah, uh, you know, just talking about how you're going for points, and this does not help at all. No, no, we're pretty much out of the point deal. I mean, that we needed that good run. It Damn it! So good. Yeah. Sorry. So it it sucks. It's no good. You know, we'll go home and uh, maybe I'll go to the lake, have a good time. There you go. <laughs> see, there's medicine for everything. Oh yeah, yeah. To get drink a little beer and go to the lake and uh, relax and hang out with the family. I got a little girl at home. So this kind of stuff just uh, wears on a guy after a while. You know, a lot of people have put a lot of effort into this and uh, spent a lot of time and a lot of money and then this kind of shit happens and it ain't, it ain't it's out of my control, you know, and, and uh, they just don't want to do anything about it, then I don't need to race, you know. Well, you know what, the fans up there saw how hard Ryan put up for this and everyone saw the effort. I mean, there's no denying that this team's putting in an effort. Let's talk about the sponsors and the team that's helping uh, you with this car. Well, Glen Haven Beach, um, his name's Hollis. He's the, he's the owner, and he's pretty much the one funding the whole thing. And, of course, I put in my two cents that I can. And uh, HUR, they build the motors and uh, pretty much sponsor us and help us out a lot on the engine department because that's the most expensive part. And uh, mainly, you know, the biggest thing is my guys. I mean, my guys are paying their own way to drive down here, paying their own hotels, and and just because they, they believe in me and they want me to race. So that it makes it pretty rough, you know, when this kind of stuff happens. Because they could have all... They could all had a bonus, or they all could have went out to the lake and had a big party for them, you know. So it just it hurts, but you know that's the way it is. It's the way racing goes. Yeah. Well, you hear it: the true spirit of racers taking time out, taking money out, to make a dream happen. Unfortunately, it's not under better circumstances, but you put on a hell of a show. Yeah, thank you. I just want to congratulate 22 because he did a hell of a job, even though he is my neighbor. We're only a mile apart, so <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty cool that he won. His his old man really helped me out to get me to this race, and I just want to thank those guys and congratulate them. Ryan Foster, everybody.